Oh man, I got another good video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the top five entry level roles in cybersecurity. So whether you are a seasoned pro or a newcomer that is looking to explore the world of cybersecurity or the world of digital defenses, and you are in for a treat in today's video. That's awesome but you have to stick around for the entire video. Again, so stick around for the entire video because you will uncover the key roles that could be your first step into the world of cybersecurity. But before we jump into the video, my name is Antoine Wade and I run the Elevate to the Unknown YouTube channel. And if you like this sort of content, go ahead and hit like on the video. And if you are new to our channel, because the YouTube algorithm just fed you our channel or our video, because you're interested in cybersecurity, then make sure you hit subscribe on the video or on the channel and hit that notification bell because we drop videos on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And we also do a live streams over the weekend. Guys, if you are ready to get started with this video, because I'm ready to get started for this video, let's get started with the top five entry level roles in cybersecurity. And coming in at number five is an information cybersecurity analyst. And information cybersecurity analysts are professionals who are responsible for safeguarding an organization's computer systems and their networks from hackers, from viruses, and other cyber threats. And these guys analyze and implement security measures to protect sensitive information, and they also detect and respond to security problems, and they keep all of the digital information safe and sound. And information cybersecurity analysts are very important for making digital defenses stronger because cyber dangers are always changing. And they are in charge of predicting and stopping and reducing cyber attacks so that data remains private, correct, and accessible. And you can imagine an information cybersecurity analyst as a digital garden of a digital castle. So they are responsible for keeping watch for intruders trying to break in, and they strengthen the castle's defenses to protect valuable digital treasures from the bad guys. And I came across an individual who chose to share his story of becoming a cybersecurity analyst on Reddit. And we are going to call this gentleman Patrick. And Patrick was working as a warehouse for a very long time, climbing to become a manager. And after 10 years of working in a hot, you know, hot, hot warehouse with no upward mobility, he said it was time for a change. It was time for a change. So Patrick had dreams of diving into the IT sector, particularly around cybersecurity. And he took a leap of faith in December of 2018, starting with the basics of CompTIA IT fundamentals. And then in January 2019, he passed the exam. And despite having to pause for other work obligations in life, he didn't lose sight of his goals, eventually conquering the A+, the Net+, plus, the Security+, plus in the six months. And Patrick said the journey was far from easy. When he had to job hunt, he said it was grueling and it was filled with the silence of companies and a whole bunch of interactions with recruiters, yet he persisted, applying to over a hundred positions from network admin roles to intriguing IT jobs. And finally, Patrick's perseverance paid off when he landed an information security analyst position at a major company managing to secure a salary two times higher than his warehouse job. And this tale is a beacon of hope for all of you who are looking to transfer into tech. And what it basically shows is that with hard work, continuous learning, and unwavering determination, even the most or even the most ambitious career changes are possible. And guys, the salary of information cybersecurity analysts varies, but these guys make a good amount of money. On average, the average salary is around $70,000 and can reach all the way up to $120,000 depending on where you live in the country. Oh, wow. 
That's a pretty big number. Now let's talk about the skills that are needed in order for you to become an information cybersecurity analyst. Well, you need to understand network security, encryption, and other cybersecurity technologies. You also need the ability to dissect complex systems and pinpoint weaknesses and craft effective security measures. You also need to have a good understanding of explaining security issues and solutions to both tech savvy and non-tech audiences. Problem solving is a key skill as well because you need to tackle complex security problems and react quickly to cyber breaches. And you also need to keep up with the fast changing cyber threats and security trends. So continuous learning is essential. Now let's talk about how to get started into cybersecurity or how to break into cybersecurity. A degree in cybersecurity will certainly help or a degree in IT, MIS, CIS, or computer science, or a related field will also help. But certifications like a Security Plus, an A Plus, or a Network Plus, a CISSP, or a CEH are also beneficial. You should also look to gain experience and build skills through internships. I'm gonna tell you like this, guys. Internships are very, very, very important, especially if you are going to go the degree route. Not only that, you should also focus on projects, 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 or entry level jobs. And that will give you the experience that you need to be able to discuss with recruiters so that you can land your first job. Not only that, networking is important. You should engage in the cybersecurity communities that exist out there, listen to podcasts, attend industry events, and connect with seasoned professionals for insights and opportunities. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this role. The pros, it is in high demand because of the increasing frequency of cyber threats. There are people trying to hack all kinds of companies and hack you, which will ensure a steady demand for cybersecurity professionals. Not only that, you will be working in a dynamic field. Every day will bring new challenges, making the work engaging and intellectually stimulating. And not only that, you will have many, I mean, many career growth opportunities because the opportunities for career advancement are abundant. And as you continue to grow within your career, with the experience and your expertise, you are going to have a unlimited amount of career advancement opportunities and also the opportunities to make even more money. Now let's talk about some of the cons. Well, the weight of securing sensitive information can be very, I mean, very, very stressful, particularly during cyber attacks. So you will have a lot of responsibility. Not only that, you will have to stay ahead of the evolving threats, and that requires a commitment to learning and develop new skills. So you will have to consistently and continuously learn. And not only that, you have to deal with security incidents which also may require you to work irregular hours, making sure that you provide an effective and a swift response. So you may have to work long hours. Next on the list is a system administrator. And system administrators or system admins are IT professionals who are responsible for the maintenance, the configuration, and the reliability of an organization's computer systems. And they are responsible for managing servers and networks and ensuring that the IT infrastructure runs smoothly to support the businesses daily operations. And these guys are like the silent stars of the organization. They are an organization's digital heartbeat, making sure that computers work well and the network stays strong and the technology is used to help people not get in the way. And you could think of a system administrator like a silent architect of a busy city. They are responsible for keeping the roads and utilities running smoothly. They also manage the complex digital pathways that allow for information to flow freely, like a city planner managing an urban environment. And I came across a success story of someone breaking into the system admin role. And back in 2014, Bagani, who's from Botswana, started an awesome tech adventure with something called Linux. Many of you guys already know what Linux is, but he did it right in university. 
and he got picked to head up a super cool team because he knew a lot about Linux and from there he just kept getting better and better and he worked on some major projects like using tech to predict the weather better and making sure that everyone they got involved into this project and seeing how important it was for people to know about Linux, Bagani helped start a special school for it at his university in 2018, and he teamed up with a group called the Linux Professional Institute. And the school was a hit, getting loads of people excited about learning Linux, which is super handy for all kinds of tech jobs. And Bagani didn't just stop there. He's all about sharing the tech love and teaching young people and anyone interested how to use free tech tools to come up with who new ideas and solve big problems like finding jobs. And he's on a mission to make sure that everyone gets a fair shot at learning these skills, making a big difference in this community and beyond. Now, cheers to my man, Bagani. Bagani, great job, my man. Great job, man. Now let's talk about the salaries because this is where the rubber meets the road. The salary for a system admin can average about $60,000 to $90,000 depending on where you live. But that is a fantastic salary for this tech job. Wow, that's fantastic. Now let's talk about the skills that you will need. Well, you will need a solid understanding of operating systems such as Windows or Linux networking and hardware essentials. Not only that, you will need good problem solving skills because system admins must troubleshoot issues and analyze problems and implement effective solutions. Not only that, you will have to have clear and really good communication skills because clear communication with team members and end users is vital for resolving technical issues and providing support. Not only that, you have to have a good understanding of security, cybersecurity that is. So understanding and implementing security measures to protect the organization's data in systems. And not only that, having a good understanding of automation. So things like scripting languages and automation tools will be essential for this job. Now let's talk about how to get started. Well, a degree in information technology, MIS, computer science, or a related field is certainly beneficial. However, practical experience and certifications like the CompTIA A+, Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate will also be valuable. You should also gain hands-on experience through internships or projects. Not only that, you should seek certifications like the CompTIA Server Plus, the Information Security Protocol, this is the CISSP, Red Hat Certified System Administrator, or HCSA. Those will also help you to get started. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this role. Well, the pros, job stability, because organizations rely heavily on IT infrastructure, ensuring that they will need a consistent demand for skilled system administrators. Not only that, you will have diverse opportunities because system admins can work in various industries from healthcare to finance, which also allows for you to broaden your exposure and your expertise. Not only that, you will be working in a problem solving environment because the role offers constant problem solving opportunities, making it intellectually rewarding. Now let's talk about some of the cons. The cons, a whole bunch of responsibility. So smooth operations of critical systems rest on the shoulders of the system admin, which can be stressful at times, which leads to you having a whole bunch of responsibility, but that's fine though. But you may also have to work irregular hours and you will have to consistently and continuously learn because technology stays ahead and you need to stay ahead of it. Next up on the list is an IT support specialist. An IT support specialist, which are often referred to as help desk specialists or technical support specialists, these guys are professionals who provide technical assistance and troubleshooting support to end users or clients. And they play a crucial role in resolving IT issues maintaining systems and ensuring smooth technology experiences for users. And you could think of an IT support specialist as a friendly neighborhood mechanic or technology. When something goes crazy, users bring their digital vehicles to the specialist for a quick tune up, ensuring everything runs smoothly once more. And I came across a success story by a young lady by the name of Amy 
Hanbury, who earned a professional IT certificate from Google as well as Course Careers. And she transitioned from a retail job to a call center customer representative role at Amazon and then to Verizon. And she believes that the Google IT certificate as well as the Course Careers course really was the catalyst for her breaking into tech. And guys, the salary for IT support specialists, they range, but on average, they make around $40,000 entry level and can make all the way up to $60,000 depending on their skill sets and where they live in the US. Now let's talk about the skills that you need to get this job. A strong foundation in IT or troubleshooting hardware or software and networking issues is essential. The ability to communicate technical information in a user-friendly manner is also very important because you need those good customer service skills. Not only that, IT support specialists must identify and resolve issues efficiently to minimize downtime for users. So good problem solving skills. And not only that, dealing with users with varying technical expertise requires patience. So a lot of patience is something that you will need as well as the Ability to adapt because there are different IT landscapes and specialists must stay adaptable to new technology and tools. Let's talk about how to get started. Well, a degree will certainly help and it won't hurt at all, but getting relevant certifications like a CompTIA A plus or a Microsoft certified modern desktop administrator role or either a course careers IT certificate, doing an internship or seeking entry level positions like this one because you can break into the role if you have those practical skills. But here's another thing that will help you as well, good customer service experience. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Some of the pros, constant learning. Not only that, you'll be in a people-centric role. So if you are a person that likes to be around people, this is a good role for you. Not only that, it is a gateway to other IT roles. This is the role that allows for you to climb the ladder in other technical roles. I started my career off in this role and was able to transition into that of a role of a software engineer when I was in school. So this is a definitely a gateway to other IT careers. Now let's talk about some of the cons. Well, this role is definitely demanding ending during peak times, especially holiday times and so forth, you may have to deal with repetitive tasks and you may have to deal with people who have very technological backgrounds. Just imagine a young lady who doesn't know how to use her iPhone or a older lady who doesn't know how to use her iPhone. I think that's more like it. <laughs> 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 but ultimately, you have to teach that individual how to use it or how to figure out how to use their emails on their iPhones and other devices and so forth. All right, next on the list is the role of a junior forensic analyst. And a junior forensic analyst is an entry level professional in the field of digital forensics. And these analysts specialize in investigating and analyzing electronic devices and digital evidence to uncover and prevent cyber crimes. Junior forensic analysts are detectives of the digital world. So they meticulously examine electronic devices, networks, and digital information to uncover traces of cyber crimes, assist in legal investigations, and contribute to maintaining digital security and you could think of a junior forensic analyst like a detective for computers they dig through all the digital stuff like code files internet paths to find clues hidden in the electronic world and just like an archaeologist finds ancient relics these technical detectives use cool gadgets and computer know-how to uncover the secrets behind computer mysteries and figure out what went wrong in the digital world. And I came across a success story by a gentleman named Ryan Masfeller. And Ryan has been a super technical person since 1995, and he's been working in IT for 15 years. And right now he's part of this awesome team that jumps into action whenever there's a cyber emergency anywhere in the world. And on top of that, he teaches other people how to solve computer mysteries in different countries. And Ryan's really good at explaining complicated tech things in a way that makes sense. And he writes reports about his detective work to stop hackers. And he just aced a super tough test to become a certified forensic analyst, which is like getting a gold star in the world of cyber sleuthing. And the salaries for a junior forensic analyst ranges from $50,000 at the entry level point, as well as $70,000 at the entry level point, depending on where you are in the country. But that is a really good salary for an entry level role. Now let's talk about some of the skills that you will need to be good in this role or to get into this role. 
technical proficiency through a strong understanding of computer systems, networks, and digital forensic tools. You have to have analytical skills. You have to have the ability to analyze and interpret complex digital data. Not only that, attention to detail, legal knowledge, because you have to have familiarity with legal procedures and regulations related to digital evidence in cyber crimes. Now let's talk about how to get started. Well, a degree in computer science, information technology, digital forensics will certainly help. In certifications such as the Certified Computer Examiner, the CCE, or the Certified Forensics Computer Examiner, CFCE, can enhance your credibility. You also want to get hands-on training, so gaining some practical experience through internships and hands-on projects will help. And not only that, you have to network with professionals in this field. Now moving on to the pros and cons of a junior forensic analyst. Pros start there first. I demand it will be intellectually challenging. And not only that, you have a chance to contribute to justice. Just imagine somebody does a crime and they're sending text messages or they are cell phones are pinging off of different cell towers and it's really leaving a digital trail. Well, you are the one is that is responsible for retrieving that evidence and helping to solve the crime. Let's talk about the cons. Cons, an intense workload because investigations can be time consuming and require intense focus. Not only that, it may take an emotional toll dealing with different cyber crimes or different crimes that you may have to uncover or look into. Not only that, you have to constantly learn. Now at number one on the list is a security analyst. And a security analyst is a professional responsible for safeguarding an organization's computer systems and networks by analyzing and implementing security measures. And they focus on identifying vulnerabilities, monitoring the security incidents, and developing strategies to protect sensitive information from cyber threats. And security analysts are like guardians who watch over digital towers. They work hard to keep an eye on and study and strengthen systems against cyber threats. And their job is responsible for keeping the company's digital assets safe in a world where cyber risks are always changing. Now at number five, we have the role of an information cybersecurity analyst. And at number one, we have the role of a security analyst. And many of you probably are saying, are these the exact same? Well, they are often used interchangeably, but there are distinctions that exist with their scope and the emphasis on each role. A security analyst's job is more general and they may be responsible for physical or information and network security, as well as other types of security that aren't related to computers. What an information cybersecurity analyst does, on the other hand, is focus on protecting digital information systems and networks from cyber dangers. And people sometimes use these titles or the same thing, but the actual duties and details can be very different. So it is important to read the job descriptions to fully understand each part in the job description to determine which one you should be applying to. Now let's talk about the salaries of a security analyst. Well, the salaries vary, but on average, these guys make a lot of money. Average salary is around $70,000 all the way up to $110,000, depending on where you live in the country. That's a lot of money. Now I'll quickly run through the skills that are needed in order for you to become a security analyst. Cybersecurity knowledge, the ability to think analytically, good communication skills, because clear communication to convey security threats and solutions, both technical and non-technical is very important, okay? Incident response and continuous learning. And to get started, a degree in cybersecurity certainly will help or information technology or MIS or CIS or computer science, Certifications will certainly help. So a Security Plus, a CISSP, a CEH will help in enhance your credibility. Not only that, hands-on experience and through internships, or entry-level positions, or volunteering is very, very important. And networking, guys. You have to network with individuals who are in the space to give you opportunities. Moving on to the pros and cons. The pros, this is another job or role that is in high demand because the increasing frequency of cyber threats. Not only that, you have diverse opportunities because cyber analysts can work in various industries. Not only that, you have the ability to consistently and continuously learn. Now let's move on to the cons. It is a highly stressful role. You may have to work irregular office hours or irregular hours. And I don't always think this is a con, but you have to stay ahead of the evolving threats. So you gotta consistently read and 
stay up to date on the different hackers and what their methods of their madness that's going on or that they're trying to use to break into your organization or into your personal data. Now let's sum this video up. In this video, we explored the exciting world of cybersecurity and highlighted the top five, I mean the top five entry level roles that could kickstart your career in the dynamic field of cybersecurity. It is one of the fastest growing tech fields that exist out there and one of the most well paid as well too. We explored the digital guardianship of information security analysts to the hands-on troubleshooting role of a system administrator. We covered a whole range of positions crucial to fortifying digital landscapes and guys that wraps up the video so if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends for more technical dopeness goodness whatever you want to call it check out our other videos right up here and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet man what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell because we drop videos on a tuesday and thursday and we do live streams on a weekend your support really means the world to us. Guys, until next time, stay inspired, elevate to the unknown, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.